So your professional yeah. content creator, ex Overwatch League, looking for team, been all over the world, I'm sure, with all the different sorts of coaching situations. Started from mm. the ground up as a content creator, and you know you've mm -hmm. you've worked your way up, and and I really enjoy your content, man. Um, we're looking at, I guess, starting with Genji. We'll see how far we can get into it. Genji mm. Cree, like just I guess just 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 with Genji. If you're coaching a Genji player, what is something that like regardless of ESR, something that you're going to be looking for them to work on or looking for them to improve. Um, what is something that in general you think Genji players need to kind of work on? The wall climbing, when they wall climb, how they do it, how they break line of sight, okay. when they deflect, and when they dash, and when they blade. Okay. Okay. And how quick they farm blade as well. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Let's do, uh, let's do normal then. 1.5 okay. might be a bit too much. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Wow, it's quite the blade. Yeah, this seems fine. I like the skin. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you like this? Maybe these uh, these mist shurikens though. Here. So how do you how would you say you line up shurikens the easiest way? Um, I mean, at at this range, it'd be like. Uh, you, like you, you can kind of anticipate the Moira probably to be moving this way, so mm -hmm. sort of a prediction of movement of where you anticipate them to move towards, and then kind of lead mm -hmm. it that direction. What would you say? So, I would say the same. This guy here, he doesn't move his crosshair when he's strafing to the left and right. So he has to counter. If he steps to the, let me choose a different color. If he mm -hmm. steps to the right, he has to counter with his mouse to the left as well. Mm -hmm. To the right, to the, yeah, and then. Mouse to the left, but he's holding still, and then he flicks, like a like a mm -hmm. hit skin, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's something he could uh, improve on. Mm -hmm. Kind of a waste. Like, yeah, pretty wasteful. And he's also yeah, not doing much really. He's more jumping around than right clicking. So, what usually goes through your head when you're playing Genji? I, I guess at this point, I would be thinking about like kind of what he's doing now, getting to a forward position to get some early spam, but also to try and deny uh, a space on the map from that Ash and Kree. So, mm -hmm. I, I know the Ash and Kree are going to want to try and take high ground. I want them to have to duel me to basically take a spot from me, if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure I like our current position right now. And yeah. like he's getting some early spam, but he's gonna get cleared out by this Rhine, and then the Ash and Kree are gonna like come here or go to this high ground. Like I would rather have him like at an off angle, I think, trying to kind of like he can yeah. still get some early spam, but kind of deny the Ash and Kree from setting up so much. Yeah. So, for an example, Rhine not just walking in here. You hold up shield and you press him out. Now, would you would you say that you just jump around the corner, or would you? Um, just start with with a different position completely because i think this position is fine since he's spamming through the door mm -hmm. he wants smoke charge for the blade mm -hmm. but the the issue is that he's just afk until reinhardt is in his face mm -hmm. and he's not using his wall clamp he's double jumping all the time but rarely wall clamping and dash used here but also not positioning himself for a wall after the dash yeah, can, can, can you elaborate on that? Because I think that's a really important thing for Genji to understand. So like what you just said, he dashed in aggressively, not 100% guaranteed on the kill, but you said something about the wall. I think that's really, really important. All right, so dash coming in here. He's standing in the middle of the of the street. Well, this is the street. And if he would take a, like a knock from somewhere, let, let's say Reinhardt swinging at him, anyone damaging him, something, where do you walk climb then? Nowhere. So unless you, you you're basically saying when when you dash in, if you don't have a guarantee of a, a kill, you need to have a wall to climb out. You need to have. Yeah, you have to you have to position yourself immediately for the wall. Okay. This guy here, he's double jumping above the Reinhardt to get headshots, but he's also not positioning himself closer to this wall. He's still standing right here in the middle. So if you would take damage, get focused, because it's super easy to focus a Genji mm -hmm. or anyone that's in 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 the middle of your team. So it's essentially a one v six then he can't escape unless he uses Deflect, but he has already used Deflect. Mm -hmm. So now he's screwed, right? But he gets away with it, and now because he gets the kill, this is positive reinforcement, so he's going to keep on doing this. 
until it gets punished. Oh, that mercy, wow. And then I think he could have been more aggressive here. You see, not using war clamp probably doesn't go aggressive because he knows he's safe. Like if, if Azoria would go for him, he still has dash, he still can war clamp, and he's yeah. Uh, I mean there's there's nothing stopping him. Yeah. Would you say the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely say. I would say I would, I would go for the honor here, but I wouldn't go from it like so. I, 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 I mean, going for the Ana I think is good here, but I would have had he would he should I feel like he should have already wrapped around and gone from the Ana from like the right side instead of directly mm. at her. Mm. He's also missing shurikens, like you know, triple triple shuriken. Mm -hmm. Well, not not triple, but yeah, primary fire. And then he doesn't get the kill here because he doesn't alternate fire, which is yeah here. He does alternate fire, actually, but this this one he doesn't. Right, and he's left he's left clicking. So so like why would you alternate fire in that instance? Just to kind of state the obvious, to make sure everybody's on the same page. Because you hit three shurikens immediately instead of three slow ones that you can dodge. What's your impression of this Genji so far? Um. So what we've seen is a lot of aggression, but he doesn't seem to have an escape path planned out, like you were saying in terms of wall climb and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. he, he, he'll go in aggressively, but also he, I don't think he utilizes flanks enough. Like we, yeah. we saw him kind of going for the Ash mm. slash Mercy on end of first, and that was fine and all, but he went at it right in front of the enemy team. Like not like didn't wait for them to, like he just went and did it right in front of the enemy team and he just assumed that the enemy team wouldn't turn around. Mm -hmm. And then we saw the exact same thing. Um I mean honestly we could with a little bit of that with the Reinhardt kill earlier. The only reason that Reinhardt died was because he charged in. And then again with the Ana. Like the Ana is completely isolated. There's a clear, uncontested mm -hmm. path to wrap around and like go for the duel. Instead, he just dashes at her right in front of the Zarya, right in front of the Mercy, and just assumes that nobody's gonna turn around and help the Ana. So mm -hmm. I, I think he needs to be like I like his 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 dueling potential and his blade so far has looked good, but like he is not utilized first off, like you said, he's not utilizing escape paths enough, and he's very mm -hmm. much you know if I want to get to this target, I'm going to go this way. I'm not going to go you know here or here, and and I, and I think he's going to get punished for that. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see an immediate wall he could? Um be on basically to scout before you know card pushes out reinhardt pushes out because right now he's playing like a mccree basically he's sitting behind the shield spamming yeah that's actually that's a shield. really good point yeah he is does play like a mccree doesn't he um ah mm. uh, you could you could wall climb up here and double jump yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we're on the and same page let's go well. yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's awesome so when bob comes in yeah, good thing he ignores it. But now D flick wasted. Yeah. And dash. And yeah. Yeah, a little ring around the rosy there. I don't know what's, what's going on. And then he goes main again. We're trying to deflect grav. Yeah. I think we're trying to deflect grav. Yeah. That's my initial impression. I'm not sure that's what you have to do to be honest yeah really. i don't think so either it's like a like you you have to weigh the percentages of when it's actually going to work out and when it's actually just going to make you feed you know like yeah. maybe if they're coming in harder than initiation you just happen to you know happen to be main maybe but you know mm. go go kill that zen like punish the zen like double jump here and like yeah. kind of just harass him or go up come up here and like just be obnoxious you mm. know like I, I don't know something i noticed with any any rank under GM basically, or even under 4.3, 4.2 maybe, but you usually play in main a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you stay within the this area. Let's choose a different color here. <laughs> this is the area you play in, mm -hmm. pretty much. And uh, it's so much free SR, especially for this dude if he just flanks a bit more. Yeah. Now see, it's oh. payload mag. And then blades. Ooh. That's fine. Nice. 
I like that he waited for coalescence, so the Moira wasn't gonna fade. I don't think he planned it. Well, let, let's let's let, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice. He clearly oh, yeah, yeah. planned that. Clearly, it was calculated <laughs> from the very beginning. <laughs> but yeah, he probably didn't plan that. Again, like positioning. Well, this is, yeah, this is better. One to six. Oh it? no no, that's not better. No. Okay, but talk 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 talk. He gets away with this. Yeah. Okay, so this here. Now he goes for a sick flank. But there's no there there's nothing to gain from shooting the shield like zero. Mm -hmm. You actually lose stuff. This is negative value. So I assume he has done this before. And obviously, you see the, the enemies here, they, they're looking out here, so they don't notice him. They're tunnel visioned, but they have tunnel vision. And uh, he goes in, gets a kill, or tries and get the kill. I mean, the only reason he gets away with this is because the Moira is, like, no offense, but brain dead. Like, I think it's just bad habits from him, but also the, the enemies, like, panicking and uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah, the Ryan shattered the Moira, yeah. It's like, can, can we talk about what we could have done instead there? Because, again, he's going right through the middle of the enemy team. Like, right through them. Mm. So, like, what, what do you I think he could have done better? I would just chill, walk climb up here, mm -hmm. and go for the zone. Now, how is that, like, how is that different? It's different in a little way. Like, what? It, how is that different, though? You don't run past Reinhardt. Winston and uh, Moira at the same mm -hmm. time. You just ignore them up mm -hmm. here. Takes less time. There's less chance of these guys to see you mm -hmm. and less chance to get in focused. Mm -hmm. You survive longer and yeah, mm -hmm. get the kill quicker. I feel like you need to actually act like Genji's in-game character to be successful. He's like be a be a be a ninja, you know, be sneaky, be like, you know, like be creative and like use your mm -hmm acrobatics i guess for lack of a better term but yeah he you're, you're right he is just going right through enemies and just expecting them to just not turn around like right there the only reason he doesn't mm. die is because his ryan earth shatters the entire enemy team mm -hmm. i would i would suggest him put on the soundtrack for sekiro just <laughs> that's great ah uh, boy okay more genji okay next This is a kind of useless position as well, because he can be up here instead, mm -hmm. shooting from the side, because the enemies are going to shield on cart. They have to shield on cart. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your team has free spam with Widow, and you're completely free here in the blue house. You have dash as well, so you can dash out here, and you're fine. But he's probably playing this position because it's the most common position. Everyone wants to sit there, especially in lower ranks. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's not much to do. Mm -hmm. That Lucy like, is just one, like, one, do 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 yeah. do do. <laughs> uh. Nice. Then Widow killing herself. Well, le le like, let's take a second here, because that, that's, that's literally perfect. Exactly what you're talking about. So the difference between their Widow and your Widow is their Widow has been uncontested. You're, mm -hmm. you, the Tracer went and killed your Widow. You have done nothing to their Widow. Now, obviously, the Deflect kill is nice here, but like you literally just said, we could have been here, you know? Mm -hmm. You could have made them take the time at the very least to, like, send the Moira after you and the Widow and the Tracer and clear you out, and then you'd have to leave. You know, but that takes time, and, and, and then you could have dashed mm -hmm. back to your... Mm -hmm. But like you said, like, that would have been a good position because now that Widow can't just set up there for free. Like, this is a nice Deflect kill, but it's kind of luck. Like, that Widow's just kind of dumb. Um, uh, yeah, I would say it's just Widow killing herself. Right, right. It's, it's, you know. So, like, we, the Widow shouldn't have been able to be there for free. Mm-hmm. And then this. Play Wh in the middle of the street. You see, no wall climbing. Just double jumping all over the place. It's like Mario. Mm-hmm. No, like I said, no wall to climb on. No wall to... He dashes in aggressively. No chance of kill. And then doesn't have a wall to climb out. He, he has a lot of... Yeah. Do you teach corners to your viewers? Um, yeah, but I would like to hear your input on that, I think. Okay, so. Gonna turn around here. Okay. Now, if I draw this out, like, I'm, I'm not the best 
person to, to oh, draw. My, my team my team is well aware of people who can't draw. <laughs> They're very experienced with okay. that. <laughs> so we have a box here, we have corners <clears throat> here. And then this one as well. Now what does what do these corners usually mean for you? Um I mean a, you can break line of sight with the enemy. Exactly. Now do you see how many places there are to break line of sight with? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of places, but he chooses to play in here. This so is the area that he plays in. The the open space. Yes. And he doesn't walk to the corners, he doesn't walk to the walls, and he doesn't hug them, so so he's just allowing the enemies to watch him for a long period of time. Doesn't walk up here, mm -hmm. doesn't climb up, and there's a lot of doodles, but he can escape all this damage. Mm -hmm. If he just walk climbs up on high ground here, mm -hmm. he's fine. He can free farm. Dude, I bet you he could sit on the um, kiosk or whatever it's called here. Mm -hmm. Just sit up there and farm like a torb turret. <laughs> yeah, that's that would be it. Yeah, <clears throat> because it looks like that the enemy is blasting Metallica or something like just full on volume. <laughs> only see, like they play with the keyboard. Uh, um, arrows. They, they can only turn in <clears throat> x-axis or mm -hmm. one axis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's baffling to me that he goes for that Moira when he is like 125 HP, no deflash, no deflect, no, yeah, deflect, no dash, and has an escape, and he instead tries to kill the Moira who's at full HP. Mm -mm -mm. I don't understand. Ooh. That's fine. <clears throat> Another problem is he's not setting up on high ground now. Mm -hmm. Like you said, playing like a McCree. Why are you here? I think it's just that... You see, wait. You know, have you ever thought of how defined this area is? On almost all payload maps, on King's Row, Hollywood, everything. You have like a street part of the... Uh, yeah, of, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a winding, like snake-like path kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, no one plays here in lower ranks, but everyone plays there in in higher ranks, like outside of this, and never in here. Mm -hmm. Am I correct or wrong? No, yeah, yeah. You you play the corner. You don't play out in the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of it, I think it's just like defaulting. He's probably autopiloting here. Yeah. He already has blade, we need to get high ground, get set. Because all that happens now is we get shattered, or we get punched, or we get, you know, grabbed, mm. or, 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 or something. Instead, we need to be ready for blade, on the high ground, spamming them from another angle, with an escape path mm. or something like that. Right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And like, he could hold spacebar and W and just go up here, drop down, dash, and then blade, dash through, slash, mm -hmm. and keep something. Mm -hmm. But instead... He's sitting here, and he's going like, I'm going to record this, put this on the Reddit, I'm going to get kills <laughs> with the enemies, why not by strike? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly it. Like, you're 100% you're right. Yeah. I have a lot of hours in Genji, and I can, I can smell it. He's trying to deflect either, you know, the grav or a fire strike or something cute like that, you know, or a Moira. Yeah. Or, um, and you get too fancy. Yeah. Too cute. Still on the low ground, so, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's autopiloting. You see, he's oh, like oh, he's oh, always oh, hacking. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna happen! <laughs> it's gonna happen, chat. Please tell me it's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? He's gonna bleed? I think he's gonna get shattered. I think. Oh, oh no, no, no. That's, just that's outside weird. of range. Just outside. Yeah. Okay. But he's gonna bleed here when two people are dead or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he just didn't do anything. No. Like, like, chat. Listen, when when you're a Genji and all you do is you stand behind your shield into a, and brawl, the Doomfist is gonna do way more than you. Way mm. more than you. You're not doing anything. You're breaking shield. It's a complete waste mm. of time. Like, at the very least, 
you know, Pete, correct me if I'm wrong, but like playing up here and preventing the Doomfist or one v one the Doomfist or shooting the Rhine in the back or or harassing mm. the Lucio or the Zarya or whatever and like kind of double jumping around here or here, like at least shoot them in the back or distract them, maybe get a bubble, maybe turn the Zarya damage your way. Like I said, duel the Doomfist, mm -hmm. turn the Rhine shield, like utilize your kit, utilize your strengths. He's literally, like you said, playing like a McCree or a Junkrat or a Reaper or something. And, mm -hmm. and, and obviously his team's just gonna get steamrolled. Eventually his team's just gonna lose like that. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I ask what, what the, the general age is of your chat? Because I can make a perfect comparison uh, with two references. Here. Um, <laughs> wide. I would be cautious. Okay, wide. All right. Um, okay, so you guys know when, when you were, were kids and you were waking up early to see like Pokemon or like something cool on, on, on TV. Yeah. Like you wake up 6 a.m. Now... Playing down here, playing not down here, but up here on the silos. You can play up here. You can sit on the bridge, but some somewhere on high ground. That's like waking up, and it's like a fighting scene or like a fighting episode in in Pokemon. Maybe it's something in Naruto. I don't know. Depends on what you guys like watching to watch. But when you play down behind the shield here in the street, and you just back, you hold S pretty much the whole time. That's like waking up and it's Teletubbies or something. Like that, that My chat's a Teletubbies TV. chat. Yep, yep. And they deserve to yeah. hear this. <laughs> it's it's like waking up and it's the most boring stuff to watch. It's TV shop, basically. Watching TV shop. It's there. not only boring, it's weird. It's, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure this dude is just autopiloting. Like, he's yeah. not thinking or, or, or like conscious of what, what he's doing because mm -hmm. there's so much value to be gained. Like, this is almost free money, but someone says, nah, it's a scam. Like, you have, you, you, you're literally giving them money in real life, in, in, in their hand. Mm -hmm. But it's a scam somehow. Mm -hmm. All right, next fight. So now, the enemies have five minutes. You gotta stop the snowball. How do you stop it? Nanoblade. Nanoblade, sure. What about just walking back and forth like this? Oh, what do you and mean? Shoot Between the different high grounds here, kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. What about that? No, oh. no, 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 not over there. Just just here. Oh. Back and forth, like this. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Damn, he missed. He missed the deflect on the fire strike. Yeah, unfortunate. Eventually, so... eventually, eventually. Anna. Anna. So he's screaming to his Anna, like, can you nano me? I mean, if he, he's using the in-game voice lines, he needs to be calling for nano blade. Oh, nice. He canceled B. Yeah. If you're but... a Genji player, you don't have to say anything the entire game except Anna nano me. Learn from Shadowburn. You could be, like, as cold as ice, but at least be in comms for that. You know, Shadowburn clamps, he's really good with wall clamping. Mm -hmm. But... So, so I, I feel like it, it would have been fine to just go for the blade if it was before the, the turn on the corner. Mm -hmm. Because then you still have another fight here. If you lose this fight, that's game over. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the mm -hmm. last fight. Oh, no. Would you say it's okay or not okay to have one fight on uh, the whole of third point? I mean, if you have a really good reason to like, oh, we're close to an ult and we need to build an ultimate, then sure. Because obviously this is a really good fight if you can take it here. But we already had Nanoblade. So, well, first off, we staggered on end of second. We got ourselves picked completely mm. pointlessly. And what then- What if you were AFK? No, what do you mean if you were AFK? Like, no, is it... I mean, is that a good reason? Oh, I mean, like we had Nanoblade. And like you said, we had it in the open space. We could have mm. used it way earlier. And if it was mm -hmm. like, oh, it's waiting on my Ana. Well, I'm going to assume that your Ana was in voice. And like, okay, if your Ana wasn't listening, then disregard. But like, Nanomi Ana, please, mm. like, call it out. Like, like let's go. Mm. Like, and even like, we, we could have taken, like, we just sat and poked behind shield, wait, like, deflect fire strikes, like you were saying, for like a good nine, 10 seconds. And it just mm -hmm. gave the team more and more and more space. Another thing is like, if, if you go for the blade and you, you've said, written in chat or whatever, you told Anna, can you nano me or nano me when, when I dash up? Mm -hmm. If you dash up, 
and you activate blade, but none doesn't come out, you've still done your part of the job. But mm -hmm. you can't stop the production. How do you say you can't stop the the, the right. factory? Right. Just because Anna doesn't reply and says gives you a reply that satisfies your ego, so to say. Right. So like, it's like the the main things to complain. My team never pushes with me. Well, go in voice. Say I'm going in now, guys. So you got make sure that everybody's yeah. alive. Then go in. And if nobody goes in with you, well, that sucks. But you know, sixty percent of the time they will, and you'll win sixty yeah. percent of the games. And then you'll climb to an elo where people follow you more than sixty percent of the time. But if you're losing. Mm -hmm. Know fifty percent of your games, then you're clearly not doing a good enough job of that. So, like you said, at least do like give the Ana a fair heads up, and then go. If you do, she doesn't Anna you, well then you know avoid the Ana or whatever. But like you, you can't like you said wait and just sit there and just assume that I, until the Ana specifically Anna's me, I'm not going to blame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do your part. So here we go for the slam on max range. I think he's just not uh, playing Doomfist uh, frequently enough. Yeah. Especially on a Moira, it's a no-go. And then the... Uh, yeah, the rotation on the ult... Uh, not ult, but um, abilities were wrong. But what would, what would you have done differently there, I guess? Oh, I guess uh, the time to use the punch is fine, but not the direction of the punch, because he punches away from the fight. He has to stay in the fight somehow. Mm -hmm. And he has to delay, delay the abilities a bit, if he can. Because if, if you walk in here, You've used your punch, so when you land with the slam, you can still punch, and if you punch on site here by the by the payload, then you can uppercut to high ground as well without using an That's ability. That's true. That's true. So it's like like the Genji, but you're using uppercut instead of wall climb to escape. Yeah. Okay. And if if you don't get focused, you don't have to like go go in. How to say with uh, what's what's the word for it? You don't have to go. Um, Super Saiyan and just press yeah. all the buttons at once. Yeah. Because then you'll end up with no cooldowns and you get focused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More Genji, oh boy. Oh, he wanted to deflect that. 100%. <laughs> You're so right, man. You just know it. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh! oh. Yeah. And it goes for the deflect anyways. So now that he has used deflect, he can't go aggressive. He can't take position in the blue house or anything. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait. Did he just dash into the tracer? Yeah. yeah, he just dashes into the tracer when he's reloading. Mm -hmm. You see, he's just spamming so much, so that when it's time to fight the tracer, there's only one shot. There's actually no shots. Yeah. In any case, if we, if he would be uh, outside, let's see if we get a good angle. Get a good angle. Here. So he can use this corner to walk climb up, shoot around the corner, and then as he's finishing his like animation for shooting, he just pops back in. Mm -hmm. And then repeats the same thing. Uh, that's one way he can use walk climb. Uh, he can dash across here, sit on high ground, flank. Yeah, infinite yeah. possibilities. Mm -hmm. Or shooting shield. He's going to rip the fiat. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> breaking shield. Breaking shield. Genji, the best shield break. All right. I assume Widow was calling out for help there as well. Yeah. Shooting shield. Shooting shield. Getting shattered, getting shattered. Oh no. Like, all we need to see here is like, how many times does he actually duel the DPS? And look at his ult charge. Reinhardt has matched mm. his ult charge. Mercy has passed him. Ana has passed him. The enemy yep. Tracer, yep. Moira, Kree, Bap, Zarya, and Reinhardt passed mm. him. He's not positioning himself to, uh, how to say him? He's not allowing himself to farm ult charge. Mm -hmm. He's just like positioning himself. If he would do the exact same sh shots, just aim this exact same way, but he would be up here, dude, he would get so much more ult charge. Or the Reinhardt would turn to him and his teammates would get ult charge. Mm -hmm. And then there's no point in deflecting this side. He, he was like, late in just... deflecting a, a fire strike again. Like. 
Ah, it's yeah, he's like purposely walking in to take the fire strike. It's like, come at, come at me, try. Mm -hmm. And sure, that's a fun element, but it's not gonna help anyone. Breaking shield. Gee, his Reinhardt's shield's broken, but the enemy Ryan's shield's broken. I wonder like, why that is. How are they losing shield war? They have a Genji. Genji's awesome at shield break. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Well, Blue house is free. <sighs> uh, he wanted... Oh, dude, he wants to fire strike that. It's a really bad okay. habit. Let's just, let's just do 1.5 instead. Well, we have a blade, AKM blade. And then we're going Super Saiyan. You see, the enemies are doing the exact same thing. They're playing in the street. They're not using corners. Yeah. They hold W to do more damage. Mm -hmm. You see this McCree? He can sit by the kiosk here, by the yep. corner. But instead, he decides to roll in. Mm -hmm. Help the Genji. Also, that Moira wasn't attacking him, so he didn't have to hide. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Is he going to stay in a good position, or is he going to just stand by? He's going to do the same. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He got... Nice. <laughs> he actually got put into a good position by chasing the tracer. <laughs> he's actually in a decent position. Not a great position, mm -hmm. but he's like... The tracer baited him into a good position. That's excellent. Thank you, tracer. Like, nobody was looking at him over there. He was just getting free shurikens nope. in the back. Yeah. I think he's trying to be... Uh, too... too uh, how to say? Too flashy, but... In the wrong location. Like, if it still tries to be flashy, but elsewhere, like, on a, in mm -hmm. good positions... Yay! Hey, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this! Oh, he dashed into a Moira! Come on, brother! You wait, can't... wait, wait, wait. You don't dash to a Moira. Yeah. Okay, so when you follow, you have so much time to select the targets. Mm -hmm. This is a no-go. Mm -hmm. Mora, you can. Well, but... maybe, maybe maybe it was unlucky. Maybe he got the tail end of coal. Either way, you, you gotta know. Oh, it's never unlucky because there's a fixed duration, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you, you you can hear and you can see like the the beam change. Yeah, definitely. But in any case, there's a free Anna in the back. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's dead. Oh, grab the mecha, grab the mecha. There we go. <laughs> this is a little bit a little bit comedic. That the tracer Genji just whiffing on each other again and again. Oh, that was funny. Alright, where is he gonna position? Bind the shield, of course. Mm. So spamming bubbles yep. is always bad yep. unless unless you're gonna pop it and there's someone screaming pop the bubble mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he's looking for treasure down here as well mm -hmm. good wine now he's doing it hey oh no no I feel like he could be pushing forward a little bit with the Sigma. Just a little bit. You know, maybe a Sigma lands yeah. a rock or something like that and he goes in for a kill. <clears throat> I mean, he, he the way he's doing it right now, he's basically a sentry turret. He's just reacting <laughs> yeah. to what, what he sees. Again, he, you're right. It's true. Uh... It's like tower defense, basically. Yeah. But if, if he didn't play tower defense, he could be up here, go behind them, Go here. No, wait, wait, wait. That's a bad arrow. Like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know. You can wipe the wipe the people. Yeah, your segments all the way up there. You might as well. It's not like you're gonna die. You can still dash out. You're being pocketed by mercy too. And then he walks in with deflect. That's basically like a Reinhardt walking in with shield. Yeah. yeah. But a, a little bit quicker. And then he plays like a widow. 
instead of spamming down here for headshots, like mm -hmm. the free headshots. Oh no. He's definitely going for the more flashy stuff. Well, not flashy. He he wants the um, like noob punishment. Uh, noob punishers. Uh, I don't know a better description, but mm -hmm. you know, like bronze players shooting into deep like something. Yep. Oh wow, that's a 4K. Okay, um, I think I I think yeah we're on Kree now, so I want to stop mm. here because I want I want to stay focused yeah. on what yeah. we saw with Genji. Um, yeah. <clears throat> based off of what you've seen from this player, whether it's a mentality thing, it's a micro thing, are there any a couple things that you think that this Genji needs to go into like his games and just grind, just mentality wise, thinking wise, thought process? What was wrong with this Genji more so oh, than anything else? Dude, super easy, super easy. Uh, let me show you here. Avoid, avoid everything that looks like asphalt, basically. So never stand on asphalt, which mm -hmm. means you will be standing here, you will be standing here, 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 maybe indoors, mm -hmm. up here. Like just, just don't stand on the road in the middle of the street as Genji, because there's literally nothing you can do that any other hero can do better. Tor with right clicks on shield does more damage than you do. McCree does more damage on shields. He mm -hmm. just uses the shield more. You have a double jump and war clamp. Mm -hmm. Why would we have those abilities or passives if we're going to sit behind a shield all the time? Are mm -hmm. we intended to be behind the shield? It's like a bird running and never never flying. That's a good analogy. Become yeah. an ostrich. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. It feels like he's playing really, really conservative just to farm Nanoblade. But the ironic thing is that he's building Nanoblade slower because of his positioning <clears throat> and he's not doing anything until he gets blade you don't have to mm. go crazy in the backline duels like there's this myth that there's blade farming genji and dueling genji and like that's true to an mm -hmm. extent but that doesn't mean that like oh i'm a blade farming genji well if you want to farm blade and still do something like play off angles you'll farm blade faster and even if you don't go in crazy in the back line for picks like you were saying you'll turn attention your way you'll get the rhino shield your way they'll have to chase you out and then you you know you waste their time like yeah like mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, yeah second tip by Cap the way Cap is to watch matrix one and two well all <laughs> matrix movies at least four or five times okay because if, if you like watch them and like just obsess over them you're gonna see corners like this all over the place you know like when neo is um, mm -hmm. seen through walls like mm -hmm. he's wall hacking mm -hmm. and when you see all these edges that you can just break line of sight with it's it's like a permanent shield that you can use it's a permanent mm -hmm. rhino shield almost mm -hmm. just that you can see the enemies mm -hmm. or 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 try to play dodgeball with someone in real life but use spike balls or something <laughs> and on, only only the other person can can Oh, okay. Okay. Just you know. just play dodgeball in traffic. Well, wait a second. That doesn't work so yeah. well. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get your idea. Um, so if you play corners, you yeah, stay safe a lot okay, more. So corners cover, utilize more of the map, stop sitting, playing like a McCree, utilize your wall mm. climb more, things like that. Um, well, Peak, I, I really appreciate you coming on, dude. This was really, really informative. Oh, thank you. Um, your drawing was almost as good as mine. Um, and uh, that's better. your no, analogies were a little better than mine and that makes me a little bit uncomfortable so if you guys don't know like you said gosu peak is a content creator ex overwatch league looking for team um strategic analyst expert and uh I've, we've we've been kind of working with each other back and forth and various mm -hmm. things for a while now and uh you're a cool dude peak i really appreciate you coming on dude no thank you so much Theo.